And so the Holy Spirit appeared to him and said to him, Rise and go to the city of Alexandria to sow there the good seed, which is the word of God. So the disciple of Christ arose and set out, being strengthened by the Holy Spirit, like a combatant in war. And he said goodbye to the brethren, and he took leave of them and said to them, The Lord Jesus the Messiah will make my road easy, that I may preach to Alexandria and preach his holy gospel there. So Mark journeyed to the city of Alexandria, and when he entered in at the gate, the strap of his shoe broke. And when he saw this, he thought, Now I know that the Lord has made my way easy. Then he turned and he saw a cobbler there, and he went to him and he gave him the shoe that he might mend it. And when the cobbler received it and took an awl, a sharp metal tool, to work upon it, the awl pierced his hand. So he said, Chais Chophios, the interpretation of which is God is one. And when Mark heard him mention the name God, he rejoiced greatly and said, Oh, my Lord Jesus, it is you that makes my road easy everywhere I go. And then he spat on the ground and he took from it clay and put it in the place where they all had pierced the cobbler's hand, saying, In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the one living and eternal God, may the hand of this man be healed at this moment that the holy name may be glorified. And then this hand at once was healed. And Mark said to him, If you know that God is one, then why do you serve these other gods? And the cobbler answered him, We mention God with our mouths, but that is all. We do not know who he is. Then Mark said to him, I will help you to see him. Now this man's name was Ananias. And Mark made him the first elder of Alexandria. Now those that had believed in the Lord were multiplied, and the people of the city heard that a man who was a Jew and a Galilean had entered the city, wishing to overthrow the worship of the idols, their gods, and had persuaded many to abstain from serving them. And they sought him everywhere, and they appointed men to watch out for him. At this Mark departed from amongst them and went to the Pentapolis and remained there for two years preaching and appointing bishops and priests and deacons in all of their districts. Then he returned to Alexandria and found that the brethren had been strengthened in the faith and had multiplied by the grace of God and had found means to build a church in a place called the Cattle Pasture, which is near the sea. Mark greatly rejoiced at this, and he fell upon his knees and blessed God for confirming the servants of the faith. After 20 years, Mark was martyred in Alexandria. And it goes on to say that he preached with great freedom. But the unbelievers in the city became angry because uh, people were turning away from the pagan gods. And they seized him and they bound his feet with cords. They dragged him through the streets behind a horse over craggy places and they dragged him to a place called Bucheles. It was a precipice near the sea and they left him in a lonely prison for the night. And he said, it says that he said his great and beloved master appeared to him in a vision comforting and encouraging him under the ruins of his shattered body. Early the next morning, the tragedy began afresh and they dragged him about behind the horse in the same cruel and barbarous manner until he died. 